So I wanted to show you guys a way to extend the runtime on your power station. So this is the Delta II and the extra battery that you can get for it. And next to it, I have an eco-worthy 12.8 volt, 280 amp battery. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery. And I have it connected with this one cable, which is ring terminals on one end, and then it goes to an XT60i connection on the other end. So the ring terminals will just go up on your battery, black to black, red to red, and then you plug the XT60i cable into the solar input on the back there. So with it connected like this, it's gonna give you around 100 watts constantly going into your unit. So it's definitely not a fast charging setup, but with the capacity of this battery, which is 3,584 watt hours, that means you can charge the Delta II and the extra battery 1.7 times. But bear in mind at that speed, at the 100 watts, it is gonna take you about 20 hours to completely recharge this. So you're also gonna need a way to charge this battery up when it needs to be charged. So you're gonna to have to have a 12 volt smart battery charger. And this one here is a 10 amp. So it's charging at 14.6 volts and at 10 amps. So that's 146 watt hours it's charging at. And to recharge this battery, if it was completely depleted, you're looking at 24 and a half hours. So again, it, this, is, this is not a, a fast charge system here, guys. But what's nice is that when you have this simple setup with this cable, you can use it to charge up smaller power stations as well. This is Bluetti's Elite 30, and next to it is the Anchor Solix 300 DC. Both of them are 288 watt hour units, which means a battery this size could charge one of them up 12 and a half times. And at 100 watts, it'll take you just under three hours to completely recharge them. So it's not a perfect system, but it is a way to extend the runtime on your power stations.